What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing part 11 of our Halo 2 Lasso Run. This is the mission Uprising, one of the easier missions in this campaign. So let's start this up. We're going to spawn in and you're going to turn to the left and we're going to make our way down this path here. We're going to jump on a rock on the right side of the path here up onto a rock wall. So you want to jump and cloak yourself as you land on top of this wall. A brute will kind of look at you but then turn towards the tree and walk to the right side of it normally. Wrap around that tree to collect any nades the brute drops along with the nades that spawn in there by default and also the sword. So we have the sword, a bunch of nades, and a plasma rifle. Move along the left side of this cliff. You'll get a checkpoint a lot of the time by doing this. And as we get to the end of this cliff here, we're going to turn back and jump onto this wall. We're going to do a grenade jump up to this uh, area over here where I'm shooting with a plasma rifle. We're going to throw our plasma grenade down on this mossy area that I'm shooting right now. There's moss all over this rock, but this mossy patch in particular, throw a nade. Jump as it goes off. It will propel you up to this area. Then we're going to throw another grenade, and we're going to use this to propel us over towards this area. You want that second grenade to push you more forward than up because if you jump up too high, you'll actually die from the fall timer on that jump. So you want that one to push you more forward than up. But you can see with those two jumps, we actually jumped over the trigger to spawn in all these enemies over here. So we despawned all of these brutes we normally would have to deal with. We're going to go into this doorway here. There's going to be an elite with a sword. We're going to kill him uh, via melee. So take down his shield either by your plasma rifle and then beat him to death or your sword and then finish him off obviously with melees from the plasma rifle so we can get our shield back up with the black eye skull and then we're going to move over here and as soon as we get over here we're going to cut back and there's going to be some brutes that spawn in so we could get more of our shield back normally he doesn't spawn in so quickly and you get behind him a little sooner uh, before he spawns in cloak yourself as you go around this corner normally there's a brute standing here but he actually moved his way up towards this door that we got into this area from but that's okay we were able to close the gap and smack him for shields anyway normally he's right here but it all worked out a lot of times you'll find that some friendly elites will spawn in as well. They didn't this time around, but that's okay. We don't really need them for anything. If they do spawn in, I just like to let them go ahead of me when I go through this door because there's some enemies on the left that they uh, distract. So it makes my life a little easier, but not that much easier. So no worries if they don't spawn in. But you can see there I missed that jump. It's an easy jump, but I just totally failed doing it. You just jump on this light. And then we jump up to where those grunts were hanging out. You don't need to jump on the light, but it makes it a lot easier of a jump to do so. Uh, you wouldn't know it from my failed first attempt. But we're going to move over here, and we're going to grab the carbine ammo from the second crate on the left here. So now we have a sword and a carbine. Cloak yourself about here, and then we're going to cut across and let the jackals pass us. And we're going to hide behind these crates on the right side. You can see there's four crates kind of lined up in a row. There's going to be some brutes that move forward, and they usually don't get to you by the time your camo recharges. So I'm just waiting for the camo to recharge so I can make my way into the door. They're pretty intimidating. They're kind of shoving the crates, but they normally don't make it to you, so don't worry. Just cloak yourself as soon as you can, and then make your way into this doorway. We're going to go down this ramp, and then we're going to hide kind of on the railing here of this ramp, right by this pole. There's the cowardly grunt over here, hiding in the corner. Little Easter egg for you, so you could look at him if you want while you're waiting for your camo to recharge. Once it recharges, we're going to go to the next section as we cloak ourselves. While you're making your way over here, you want to take out your sword because a jackal will either be in the corner here and you want to kill him quickly, or he'll be where this brute just walked to, and he's kind of facing you right when you come into this section. So you want to slice him quickly, and then be aware of the fact that there's either a brute in here already, or there's a brute that's following you into this section. So you could see this time around, the brute was following us, and fortunately he didn't even see us. He kind of just walked and put his back to us so we could easily kill him. But just be ready to slice both a brute and a jackal when you get into this area. And then there's going to be a handful of jackals below you, and there's multiple ways to take these guys out. You could actually just run past these guys and try to make it all the way to the next section, but that would take down a lot of your shield and possibly kill you. So we're just going to play it safe here. We're going to just pick these guys off slowly and surely. You can see I'm just poking my head over the corner as I cloak myself and then just pick one off with a headshot with the carbine real quick. And then I just duck back behind the corner, uh, wait for my, or duck back behind the ledge, wait for my camo to recharge and then activate it again, poke my head out, get another headshot, and then just keep repeating the process until there's no jackals left. Super cheap way to go about it, but totally legit. Normally on Legendary, I would actually push these fusion cores down below, and it explodes and kills a bunch of them, but on Lasso, I noticed it actually just propels a bunch of them down to lower levels. So that just ends up spreading them out and making them more annoying to deal with, so I like to just take them out while they're up here close to me. And then after they're all dead, or most of them are dead, I'm going to just jump down to the bottom, and we can see one's left alive here, but that's okay. We're going to make our way down here and cloak ourselves as we reach the floor because there's going to be some brutes walking through the doorway here. Sometimes there's more than others depending on how fast you go. Another thing you might find is a fuel rod cannon in the corner where I'm crouching. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I'm not exactly sure why it's there sometimes and not others. Most of the time a brute will be coming up the ramp on the right, so stick him as you're waiting for your camo to recharge. Once it does recharge, you can make your way down here as you cloak yourself, and we're going to grab the fuel rod that's on the ground here. That fuel rod always spawns in. So you could rely on that one. So we have a carbine and a fuel rod at this point. There's more fuel rod ammo over here. 
and then we will reload it and we will open the door up and we're going to cloak ourselves and then cut into the left here. About halfway past this first rock on the left, there's a fern sticking out. So I like to go to that fern and then cut back to the right behind this big boulder up against the cliff. And we're going to wait here because there's some friendly AI that spawned in behind us as we went through that door. And they actually are going to distract all these enemies that we went past. And we're going to wait here for our cloak to recharge. And once it does recharge, we're going to cloak ourselves one last time, go back in the doors that we came from, and we're going to go back towards that room where we were methodically killing all those jackals. So I'm going to speed this part up. We're just going back through the level, uh, back to where we came from. And now we are going to approach the room where we killed all those jackals. You can see we're down below. There's no enemies in here anymore. And now we have to get on top of the light that's above the doorway that we just came through. And you can see all the pedestals and the crates in this area have been knocked over. So we're going to have to knock one of them upright so we can get on top of that light. So you can see I'm just smacking this around. So I could jump up on top of it, get on top of this light, and then we have to get up on this slanted wall here. Move up here, and then you'll hear some music kick in. When you hear that music, that means all the enemies that we spawned in later in the level have now despawned. So we're going to go back here. I've sped this part up again. We're back at that doorway where there was a bunch of enemies. You can see they're all gone. And uh, we're going to move forward here now. And more importantly, perhaps, there's no enemies down here either. All those brutes and that one jackal sniper have despawned as well. That's why I moved forward to that fern initially when we came into this area. Because by moving up to that point, it spawns in all of these uh, brutes that spawn down here, including the jackal sniper. So by spawning everybody in that we want to uh, get rid of, we could go back to that area above that light, above that doorway, and despawn all those guys. So now we can just take our time. We don't have to rush and worry about getting shot by brutes or the jackal sniper. At this point, you want to kind of wedge yourself in between the tree and the rock face here by just kind of jumping in between both of those and crouching. And then you can make your way up to this point once you get kind of stuck and wedged in between the tree and the rocks. And then we could just walk towards the end of the mission. We're pretty much done. And uh, you can see we're skipping all these crazy parts. This uh, mission has a lot more to it if you actually play through it normally how it was intended to be played. But we're not here for that. We're here for Lasso. And uh, Lasso is all about efficiency and making it super easy. So you just want to make your way towards this direction. You want to go to this black spot. You can see this darker area. Just kind of hang out here for a couple seconds and that will trigger the final cutscene. So that's it for that one. A pretty quick and easy mission, especially coming off Gravemind. But we only have two more left. We're in the home stretch here. We have High Charity coming up next. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the Scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.